Welcome to our Time for Adventures diecast, Monster Truck Racing and Reveals. Welcome back, viewers, where today we have round number two of Monster Jam Special Finish Race. We have Spin Master Monster Jam 2020 Zombie vs. Hunters. These trucks went head-to-head -head once before, and they're going to do it again today. Let's meet the first trucks for today's tournament, starting with Hunter Soldier Fortune, the Zombie version Zombie, Zombie Mohawk Warrior, Hunter Earthshaker, Zombie Monster Mutt, Zombie Megalodon, Zombie El Toro Loco, and Zombie Rottweiler. There are some really cool looking trucks in this special finish series. What do you guys think? Find us on Facebook and comment on this video to tell us what trucks are your favorite. Last year when we had the special finish zombie versus hunter race on our fire and ice track, the zombies absolutely annihilated. Will they do that again here today? We'll find out soon. But first let's meet the other eight trucks, starting with zombie gravedigger, hunter max D, zombie pirate's curse, zombie dragon, zombie blue thunder, Zombie Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Hunter, Son of a Digger. And finally, Zombie Northern Nightmare. Again, these are some super cool looking trucks in this Zombie vs. Hunter series. Which trucks are your favorite and who do you think will win today? We will get these races started shortly, but first, let's take a look at today's racing bracket and how the races will lay out. And for today's matchups, we will have Zombie Monster Mutt Rottweiler taking on Zombie Gravedigger. Zombie El Toro Loco will face off with Hunter Max D. Zombie Megalodon will be taking on Zombie Pirate's Curse. Zombie Monster Mud will face Zombie Dragon. Hunter Earthshaker will be racing Zombie Blue Thunder. Zombie Mohawk Warrior will be taking on Zombie Monster Mud Dalmatian. Zombie Zombie will face Hunter Son of a Digger and Hunter Soldier Fortune will take on Zombie Northern Nightmare. Now in last year's matchup, the zombie trucks absolutely dominated this tournament, with three of them ending up on the podium. Will the Hunter trucks be able to salvage a win here today? Let's head up to the gates right now to find out. And up first to the gate, we have Zombie Monster Mutt Rottweiler taking on Zombie Gravedigger. Let's go racing! Gate drops, here we go. Both trucks with the wheel coming off that first jump. Nice landing by both trucks coming off the second jump. They're side by side over the crush cars. They get together. Wow! Grave Digger takes the win just in front of Monster Mutt Rottweiler. What a race. That was awesome. Big crash for Grave Digger, but let's take another look. As they launch, this is a super close race coming down the ramp. Both trucks literally wheel to wheel coming into the jump. They touch side by side over the jump, over the crush cars. They get together. Big crash. What a win. That was such a close race for the first matchup right out of the gate. Awesome. But it is Zombie Grave Digger making it to the line first to take the win and be the first into the second round. What a race. Let's head back up to the gates now where the next pair is lined up, ready to go. And for this matchup, we have Zombie El Toro Loco taking on Hunter Max D. Here we go. Green flies, gate drops, and drop on that Zombie El Toro Loco so fast. Look at that lead coming into the second jump on the cross lanes. Get together. Boom. Big crash. El Toro Loco flips across the line for the win. Wow. With a little help from the hunter. That's not how that's supposed to work. Let's take another look from the track cam. Watch El Toro Loco as it comes down the ramp. That truck is so fast. Shoots out of the gate. What is that zombie running from? Oh, that's right. The hunter. The hunter gets it. Bang. Right there. Helps it across the line. Wow. Well, if that race is any indication of how these races today are going to go, these hunters are in trouble because it is Zombie making it to the line first, taking the win in that round. Wow, that one was wild. Let's head back up to the gates for the next one, see what happens. Here we go with race number three. We have Zombie Megalodon lining up against Zombie Pirate's Curse. Let's go racing. Gate drops, here we go. Megalodon so fast coming down the ramp. Oh, Pirate's Curse has a huge crash. Doesn't even make it over the first obstacle. Megalodon jumps off to the side. Doesn't go over the crush cars, but makes it to the line. Wow, that one was wild. Let's take another look in slow-mo from the track cam at Pirate's Curse. See what happened. As the gate drops, Megalodon is just gone. That truck is so fast, but watch Pirate's Curse in the gray lane. Boom, right off the top of that obstacle. Megalodon coming towards the camera. Bang, runs into the camera. Wow. Well, viewers, we have the tech guys out there looking at that track cam right now. Megalodon took the win, but also took out the track camera. What a race. And that one was wild. Let's see what the next two up at the line have in store. 
For this one, we have Zombie Monster Mutt taking on Zombie Dragon. It's time for racing. Green light, here we go. Monster Mutt so fast coming down the ramp. A little ahead of Dragon going into the left lane. Oh, gets into Dragon. Dragon has a big crash off that second obstacle. Monster Mutt will take the win, but what are these zombies doing? It's like these zombie trucks have no sense of direction. Are these trucks even alive? <laughs> Let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, watch them both close. They go over into the gray lane, get together not once, but twice. Then Dragon crashes, Monster Mutt takes the win. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen two teammates battle that hard before, but I guess that's what happens when you're both anxious to get into the next round. And it is Monster Mud making it to the line first, taking the win to move on. What a race. Let's head back up to the gates now for the next pair. And next up, we have another Hunter with Hunter Earthshaker taking on Zombie Blue Thunder. Let's go racing. Here we go, Hunter Earthshaker so fast coming down the ramp. Blue Thunder starts to go off to the left. Earthshaker with a huge crash off the second jump. Earthshaker, whoa, stops. Blue Thunder almost goes off the track. Wow, wait, what? Earthshaker pops it in reverse, makes it to the line. What just happened? That was wild. I thought this race was over, but Earthshaker took the win. Let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, Earthshaker just so fast coming out of the gate. But watch Blue Thunder. Land starts to go way left, almost goes off the side of the track. And just as we thought this race was over with big crashes, Earthshaker pops it in the reverse, comes down off the crush cars for the win. Wow. That's got to be one of the coolest and slowest finishes we've ever had here in one of our tournaments. Just when you thought it was over, Earthshaker comes rolling backwards across the line for the win. That was awesome. Way to go, Hunter Earthshaker. But now, with all that excitement, let's head back up to the track for the next pair. All right, here we go. We have Zombie Mohawk Warrior taking on Zombie Dalmatian. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Both trucks so fast coming down into that first jump. Dalmatian goes way left, doesn't even land on the obstacle. Mohawk Warrior lands, does two front somersaults, and lands on the wheels to take the win. Wow, Mohawk Warrior was awesome. Dalmatian almost made it over the obstacle, but not quite. Let's take another look. As the gate drops, keep your eye on Monster Mutt Dalmatian in that gray lane. Comes down into the ramp, just shoots completely left, way out to the side. Mohawk Warrior, one flip, two flips to the line for the win. Wow, awesome. That was some awesome driving by Mohawk Warrior to save that truck after two flips. That was wild. Makes it across the line to take the win to move into that second round. What a race that was. But who's ready to head up and check out the next race? Let's go. And up next to the gate, we have the zombie version zombie taking on Hunter, son of a digger. Let's go racing. It's time to go, zombie so fast coming down the ramp. Son of a digger goes way left again in the gray lane. What is going on in that gray lane today? Zombie so smooth over the crush cars to take the win. But that is the third or fourth crash we've had here in the gray lane today. Let's take another look. Watch him as the gate drops. Watch Son of a Digger over there on the far side of the track. Jumps and just turns completely left, missing the obstacle. Big flip. Zombie with the arms in the air, taking the win. What a race. Wow, we're going to have to get the dirt crew out here during intermission to check out the track over there in that gray lane. But in that one, it is Zombie Zombie taking the win, moving into the next round. The second round is getting extremely loaded with zombies. Check that bracket out. But let's head back up to the gates for the next race now. Here we go, next we have Hunter Soldier Fortune taking on Zombie Northern Nightmare. It's time for racing. Here we go, Hunter Soldier Fortune so fast coming down the ramp. Oh, the zombie truck in the Grand Lane has problems again. Soldier Fortune so fast and smooth. Big crash at the end of the track, lands on the wall. What, what just happened? That was wild, let's take another look. Again, as the gate drops, watch that zombie truck over there. Starts moving around, big crash off the first obstacle. Soldier Fortune is so fast for the win. What a big crash by Northern Nightmare off that second obstacle. Glad that truck's okay. But it is Soldier Fortune taking the win in that one, moving on into the second round. What a race ending up on the wall. Let's head over to the pits now and check out the trucks moving on. We have had some wild races here so far in this first round. And this zombie versus hunter race is always a little unfair because there's only four hunter trucks taking on 12 zombies. But six of the zombies are already eliminated, but so are two of the hunters. So this is gonna get really interesting moving into the next round. Will the hunters have enough to hold on? We'll find out soon. But first, let's check out the trucks that are moving on. And for those trucks, we'll be starting with zombie gravedigger and zombie megalodon followed by Zombie El Toro Loco and Zombie Monster Mutt. Then we have Hunter Earthshaker checking on Zombie Zombie. 
And finally, we have Zombie Mohawk Warrior taking on Hunter Soldier Fortune. Again, which of these trucks will be moving on into the semi-final round? And do you think the Hunters can hold on long enough to be able to make it up here on the podium this year? We'll find out soon, but for now, let's get back up to the track for the racing. And up first, we have Zombie Teammates Grave Digger taking on Megalodon. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Blue truck so fast coming into the ramp. Oh, they're both going a little bit sideways. Grave Digger lands hard, goes right. Megalodon up over the back. Jump and makes it to the line. Grave Digger not happy. Runs into Zombie. Wow, what a race. Let's take another look from the track cam. Here we go. Watch them both coming down into that first ramp. Both trucks with a huge jump. Megalodon starts to go left. Hits that second jump. Here comes Grave Digger. Boom at the line. What a race. It looks like these zombie teammates not only will fight the hunters, they'll fight each other for that win. And in this one, it is Zombie Megalodon making it to the line first to move into the semi-final round. What a wild race. Let's head back up to the gates now for the next pair. And here we go with two more zombie teammates, El Toro Loco taking on Monster Mud. Let's go racing. Green flag, here they go. Both trucks close coming into the first jump. Oh, Monster Mud has problems, doesn't make it over the first obstacle. El Toro Loco does a front flip on the backside jump and makes it to the line. What a big flip. What happened to Monster Mud coming down that ramp? Just lost power. Let's take another look. As the trucks come down out of the gate, watch Monster Mud in that gray lane. Once again, gets to the jump, just turns, loses power, boom, can't make the jump. El Toro Loco flips over the back jump for the win. What a wild run. Wow, these trucks are really getting beat up in that gray lane of racing today. Don't know what is going on. But in that one, El Toro Loco flips all the way to the line to take the win and we'll move on into the semifinals. But let's head back up where racing is waiting for us. Okay, here we go. The first hunter racing for a spot in the semis. We have Earthshaker taking on Zombie. Let's go racing. Earthshaker way ahead, coming into that first jump. Nice smooth run from both trucks. Nice landing off the second jump. Earthshaker's ahead. Oh, Earthshaker gets into the side. Zombie passes for the win. What? What just happened? Earthshaker had that one in the back, but hit that back obstacle. Zombie takes the win. Let's take another look in slow-mo. Coming down the ramp, Earthshaker already has this race pretty much won. Look at that jump. So smooth. Starts going just a little bit right hit that side obstacle and zombie passes at the last minute. Wow. Well, once again, these zombie trucks are pulling out all the stops in this race here again today. And with that race, it is Zombie Zombie taking the win at the very last moment of that race. What a wild run. Let's head back up to the gates where the next hunter's ready to go. Okay, here's the next battle. We have Zombie Mohawk Warrior taking on Hunter Soldier Fortune. Let's go racing. And they're off. That zombie truck's so fast coming down the ramp. Soldier Fortune having big problems. Doesn't make the second obstacle. Again, Mohawk Warrior flips across the line for the win. What is going on? The zombies have now secured the win in this race. Let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, Mohawk Warrior just so fast, but Soldier Fortune has problems off the jump, can't make the jump on the second obstacle. Mohawk Warrior with a flip on that Mohawk for the win, wow. Well, viewers, with that race, all the Hunter trucks have now been eliminated going into the semifinals. Mohawk Warrior will move on into the semifinal round, but don't go anywhere because we still have to find out which zombie truck's gonna win. Let's head over to the pits and check them out now. And if you're liking our diecast monster truck races, make sure you subscribe and like this video to catch a new race every week and new tracks about every couple of months. Now let's check out the trucks moving on. We have Zombie Megalodon and Zombie Zombie, as well as Zombie El Toro Loco and Zombie Mohawk Warrior. Again, the hunters have been eliminated and we know zombies will be winning this tournament, but which ones are gonna win the tournament overall? We will find out shortly, so let's head back up to the gates for the semi-final racing. And up first, we have zombie teammates Megalodon and Zombie. Let's go racing. Here we go, look how fast Megalodon is coming into that first jump. Big air, zombie goes way left once again. Another crash over there in the gray lane. That zombie Megalodon is so fast for being out of water. That is wild, wow. And it looks like this zombie truck is over here waving for help. Let's take another look. As the gate drops, both trucks so fast coming down into that jump, but Zombie in the gray lane once again goes left. It's a side obstacle. Bicycles can't hold it and wrecks. Megalodon up over the crush cars on two wheels. Nose wheelie, what a race. What a wild race these zombie themed monster trucks have put on. And in that one, it is Megalodon taking the win, moving into the finals. And Zombie will have to race one more time to secure third place in this tournament. What a race. Let's head back up to the gates for the next semi-final round. 
And here we go with Zombie El Toro Loco taking on Zombie Mohawk Warrior. It's time for racing. Green flag, let's go. Blood truck side by side coming into that first jump. They're even coming up over the second half to go off the jump. Oh, it's Mohawk Warrior over the crush cars for the win. El Toro Loco started to go right, got into that second jump on that obstacle and couldn't control it. Let's take another look. As they lost, both trucks wheel to wheel off this first jump. Check them out. El Toro Loco goes to the right, can't control it. Up on this back jump and boom, Rex Mohawk Warrior takes the win. Wow. And another wild race from the zombie monster trucks, but we wouldn't expect any less out of zombies. And taking the win in that one, it's Mohawk Warrior moving into the final round. And El Toro Loco will have to try to race for that third position. Now let's head back over to the pits and check out the pairings for the finals. Well, viewers, here are the 12 trucks that have been eliminated from today's tournament. Because in these 16 truck tournaments, only four can move into the finals. And out of those four, only two can make it to the championship round. Now, let's take a look at the trucks racing for third. We have Zombie El Toro Loco taking on Zombie. And for the championship round for today, we will have Zombie Mohawk Warrior taking on Zombie Megalodon. Which of these trucks will be champ? Let's find out now. And here's your race for third with a zombie taking on El Toro Loco. Let's go racing. Green flag gate drops and drop. Both trucks a little wild coming into that first jump. Big air from both trucks. They're even over the crush cars. It is zombie taking the win. Wow. El Toro Loco with a big crash air over the crush cars, but zombie takes the win. What a race. Let's take another look. This is a really even race by both teammates coming down the ramp. They both get a little squirming coming off that second jump. El Toro Loco tries to catch up. Clips and zombie takes the win. Well, viewers, with the race for third in the books, it is the zombie version zombie making it to the line first for the win and third place here overall in this tournament today. What a race that was. Sorry, El Toro Loco, you won't be on the podium. But let's head back up to the gates for the race everyone's been waiting for. And that's right, this is the race everybody has stuck around to see. This is the final round, the one and only championship. We will have Megalodon taking on Mohawk Warrior. Let's go racing. Here we go, Megalodon ahead coming into the jump. Oh, but goes away right, misses the landing of the second obstacle. Mohawk Warrior goes left off the second jump. Can he make it? Yeah, Mohawk Warrior makes it to the line. And what? Off the end of the track. The zombie's trying to get back to the grave. What is going on? And Megalodon's back up here on the track with a big crash into the wall. What a wild race let's take another look from the track cam coming down the ramp in the black lane megalodon just hits that jump goes way right this is the landing has a big crash mohawk warrior goes left it's that big second back obstacle off all the way to the line for the win wow well viewers we were getting word that the zombie mohawk warrior didn't want all this publicity and tried to head back to the grave to avoid everyone but mohawk warrior takes the win and we'll be in the spotlight here's the winner today let's head back up to the winner circle and check out the trucks that deserve to be there the Zombie vs. Hunters diecast monster trucks have put on some great racing here today. And for the second year in a row, the winner circle is loaded with zombie themed monster trucks. Let's check them out. I've never seen three zombies move as fast as what these three trucks have done here today on these races. Wow. But nonetheless, they have beaten all the others in this series and they deserve to be there. And up here in third place, we have the Zombie version Zombie. In second place, up there on that silver podium, we have the zombie version Megalodon. And in first place, taking the win here overall in the zombie versus hunter race, we have the zombie version Mohawk Warrior. This truck looks so cool in those colors, the zombie on the side and that awesome neon Mohawk. And what do you say we all take a minute now and help these three trucks celebrate their victories here today. Thanks again for watching Our Time for Adventures. Until next time.